Drag and drop in Sonar is a breeze. All elements that make up a project, from media files through FX and synths and templates, even projects can be dragged from the browser right to where they are needed. Let's take a closer look. By default, the browser is docked on the right-hand side. It can be show and hidden by pressing B. It can also be docked on the left in the multi-dock or floated. Either choose the relevant option from the menu or drag it into position. There are three main tabs accessed at the top, Media, Plugins, and Synths. If the browser is quite narrow, these will display as icons. Once resized and wider, the icons change to text. Access the Media Browser by clicking on the Media tab. The current location is reflected in the Content Location Display area, and the contents of the folder displayed in the File List area beneath. Icons to the left of the name indicate the content type. It's possible to jump to other preset locations by selecting them from the menu. To save a preset location, navigate to the required folder, double-click in the location display, type a different name if you wish, and then click on the Save icon. To delete a preset, click on the Delete icon. This only deletes the preset, not the content. If you wish to delete the content, it needs to be done from the file list within the browser or Windows. To show and navigate other folders on your system, use the Media tab menu. Change the way files are displayed from here, too. There are several preview options available. The Audio Preview bus is chosen from here, as is the Preview Synth. You need to have a soft synth loaded in the synth rack for this option to be available, and we'll see how to do that shortly. There are also options to turn on Auto Preview as well as Preview at Project Tempo. Preview Loop will continuously loop as a clip. Loop Preview can be started and stopped manually by clicking on the icon toward the right. Once a preset location has been selected, any files in that location are displayed in the file list. Move back up the file tree by using the Up One Level icon. The search filter can be used to filter choices. For example, type the word Bass and only clips with Bass in their name are displayed. This filter works anywhere within the browser on any file type. Audio, MIDI, and Step Sequencer clips can all be dragged from the browser into a project and dropped anywhere in the clips pane. Notice that tracks are created if necessary. Alternatively, double-click on a clip to import it at the current now time. If you try to drag an item to an invalid location, the cursor will indicate that, and the action is ignored. Clips can also be dragged directly into the matrix if it is open. Track icons, track and project templates can all be dragged and dropped in a similar manner. Existing projects can be dragged in or double-clicked on to open them. Clips can also be exported by dragging them from the track view into the required location in the browser. To access plugins, click the Plugin tab. This has its own menu where we can select existing layouts or select Manage Layouts to access the Plugin Manager and create new ones. From here, we have access to all our plugin FX, instruments, and rewire devices. They each have their own Type button, and the plugin list varies depending on which button is active. If the display list is a custom menu, it's possible to rename a plugin here. First select it, and then click on it again, and type a name. Effects can be dragged directly into an effects bin and placed into a precise position in the chain, or dropped anywhere on a track or bus. It will then be placed in the FX bin at the end of the chain. Effects can be dragged straight to a clip where it will be placed in the clip effects bin. Audio effects can also be dragged directly into the Pro Channel where they are placed into an FX chain. To insert an instrument or rewire device, click on the relevant button. The installed instruments or rewire devices are now visible in the plugin list. Remember they can be filtered using the search filter. Use drag and drop to drop a synth or device anywhere in the clips pane. The insert soft synth options will open, allowing us to perform other tasks such as create tracks and open properties automatically. Once inserted, any synths or rewire devices appear in the synth rack accessed by clicking on the synth tab. From here, we have full control over the management of synths. Highlight a synth by clicking on it in the synth rack. The associated track in the track view will become the in focus track. The synth tab menu provides access to various options for the current selected synth, as well as general synth options. Synth properties opens the synth's interface. The Connected option will disconnect or reconnect a synth. When a synth is disconnected, all synth output is muted and no CPU cycles used. If the Unload Synths on Disconnect option is checked, the synth is unloaded from memory, freeing up even more resources. 
In the case of some sample-based synths, this can be a considerable amount of memory. Replace Synth removes the current synth and replaces it with one chosen from the submenu. Any tracks assigned to the removed synth are automatically reassigned to the replacement. Delete removes the synth completely, and a pop-up dialog will allow deletion of associated tracks. Enable MIDI output refers to any MIDI data that the soft synth might be capable of outputting, such as arpeggiator data. Show synth icons hides or shows the icons in the rack view. Just beneath the tabs are icons for insert, delete, and access to the insert synth dialog options that we saw earlier. The drop-down menu is there to choose which track the synth's automation is recorded and displayed on. By default, that is the synth track, but it can be any track in the project. The synth rack list options vary depending on whether the browser is docked to one side, in the multi-dock, or floating. When in the multi-dock or floating, all controls and options are available. The power button controls whether the synth is connected or not, and corresponds to that choice in the synth rack tab menu. The icon is a visual representation of the synth, and can be managed by right-clicking on it. The plug-in name is assigned by default, but can be changed to a more meaningful name. This is especially useful when multiple instances of one synth are used in a project. Any presets can be selected and navigated from the preset selector, and beneath that is the automation selector for choosing the track used for recording and displaying any synth automation. At the far right are icons for synth and track control. Here, the synth and its associated tracks can be muted, soloed, frozen and thawed, automation read and write turned on or off, as well as synth automation controls created and assigned. That's the browser, full control over all media files, plugins, and synths.